Hey folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cake. Today we're gonna talk about using the pop and fly approach for Albies. What's going on is, well the fleet's been putting a lot of pressure on the Albies, the bait is getting smaller, the Albies are getting spookier, and so it's really time to downsize. And so today we have the Hoagie Pro Tail Fly. Obviously we can't cast it with heavier spinning gear, so we're gonna tie those behind a clear popper, a stealth mode popper that will give us commotion, but not the visibility. A little fly in the back, and then that'll do the trick to uh, trick these Albies keyed in on the little itty bitty bait. So once we find these fish, there's really three tactical approaches to targeting Albies. Well, for starters, you've got the run and gun, the walk and gun, and also making a series of drifts. So here's the secret weapon you wanna have in your arsenal. A clear popper, behaving sort of like a popping cork or a casting egg, and a little hoagie pro tail fly, these are new. And uh, these are very easy to fish, and again, Great when they're keyed in on those little baits. 24 inch leader. I'm just gonna pop that. The reason why I like the clear popper is you don't wanna detract from the fly. They're keyed in on little baits. You don't wanna spook them out. I just give it a pop. And that little pro tail fly is just sort of dancing around, bobbing under the popper. Create some commotion with the clear popper. And then it's just a little, little wounded bait. It's lost its way. Just pop it. It's just, you can even just drift with this almost. This is a very deadly technique. Again, keyed in on the little baits and no. this fishes itself, really. Well, that worked well, the old pop and cork technique. And that did it. These fish are keyed in on super small bait. This guy's swimming at me. These guys are keyed in on super small bait. Obviously, uh, too small to cast with this outfit if we're catching them on little flies. Trying to clear the outboard here. This guy sort of caught me off guard. I'm gonna take him aft. I just love the pop and fly technique when these guys are keyed in on tiny little micro baits like they are today. It's as simple as putting a popper on, a little leader, and then your little fly. In today's case, we're using the Hoagie Pro Tail Fly, new this year. And here he comes. Not so little. See that amber color? It's just a really natural color in the water. And they're keyed in on these micro baits. See, so see how small this bait is. Certainly no way I could cast it with a traditional Albi rod. So paired with this hookless clear popper, I got my casting distance, my commotion from the rattles in the cup face, but my presentation is this small little fly. In this case, the amber colored Hoagie Pro Tail fly did the trick. I'm gonna de-hook this guy and get him back in the water. <laughs> Popper can pack a deadly one-two punch for Albies, keyed in on super tiny micro bait. And for that, I like to use a clear popper. So the, the action's more about the fly behind it. I'm almost using the, the popper as a, you know, like the old days, a casting cork or a casting egg. And, um, you know, here I have a little ho tiny uh, hoagie pro tail fly um, in an amber color. And it's just gonna have a very natural, small sort of dancing action behind the popper. So the idea being, is with the weight of a spinning rod, you can cast it with the popper, pop, pop it, and then have that small little fly dancing and darting. I tend not to have hooks on my popper just to not overcomplicate things, minimize tangles, uh, it'd be sort of an awkward mess having two albies on at the same time. Um, so that that is, um, you know, in terms of going with the most popular, the epoxy jig lures, down to sort of the better kept secrets, the clear popper with a small, soft bait or a small fly behind it 
is a uh, you know, very hot tip in certainly underutilized technique here in New England. So let's just talk about colors and matching the small bait hatch. So the Hoagie Pro Tail flies come in uh, five basic colors. And I'll take it from the top and work down here. Um, there's like a, a, an olive, which is a great sandy limitation. There's a color we call the squid plug. It's based off the color patterns of the Hoagie squid plug, but the olives and pink hues, um, it's an excellent peanut bunker imitation, believe it or not, as well as a juvenile squid. Then we have the blue butter, which is a great imitator of juvenile herring, um, you know, small butterfish. Um, we have the uh, ghost, it's like a translucent white color, great imitator of you know, small silver sides. And then last but not least, and probably my favorite color is, um, well, it's a, I believe we call it shrimp, but it's a shrimp amberish color. And this is a great imitator of the little bay anchovies, little tiny ones. They're almost hard, almost impossible to imitate unless you got a little fly like we have here. And you can just see how soft and subtle um, you know, the, the presentation is with these flies. So with these five colors, you've got all the little baits copied right here. So here's the outfit I'm using for the pop and fly. It's you know the same al the same Albi outfit you'll see in all our other videos. It's a 5,000 class uh, Shimano Saragossa 20 pound braid, uh, seven foot medium action Saint Croix Legend Tournament. Now here is the business end of this equation. This is the popper fly, and um, this is a clear popper, a Hoagie Charter grade popper. And what I like about the clear is it doesn't have the visibility of a of like a traditional popper. So it, it's as close to as, as invisible as you're gonna get. At the same time, it's got the rattles and the cup face popper front. So it's gonna pop, 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 make some magic happen on the surface, but it's not gonna take away from this little hoagie pro tail fly. You can see how soft and small and so, you know, supple this bait is. This bait's just gonna dance and dart behind the popper as a pop, 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 and it's just gonna you know, naturally do its thing. So that when the albies are keyed in on those really itty bitty little baits, this little fly behind a light, in this case a 12 pound test floral leader, um, is gonna do the trick. Now here I've got about a 24 inch leader. Sometimes I'll go up as high as a you know, 48 or 50 inch leader. Uh, the longer the leader, the harder this is gonna be to cast and that really um, is driven by how spooky these albies are. I go back and forth as to whether or not I like a longer leader with shorter casts and a more natural presentation or a shorter leader. Um, but you know, my, my leader size ranges is from 24 to 50 inches on these pop and fly techniques. Uh, today there's been a little bit of a wind when there's a breeze, you wanna shorten the leader, you know, minimizes any tangles. It's a bit of a lob cast, but you know, this is it. Simple, just a clear popper. I take the hooks off uh, you know, A, it's going to cause more tangles, but you don't want, you know, two, <laughs> two albies on one rig. That'd be a little chaotic. I don't think you'll land them. But just keep it simple. Keep it fishy. Keep in on small baits. These little, little pro tail flies will do the trick. And we're using the popper to get that lure out there and create a little commotion. going to call today a wrap. Uh, it's just a few too many boats out today for my taste. The schools are getting fewer and further between, but one thing is for sure, being armed with these little itty bitty baits, these pro tail flies to match the hatch of the real small forage, I think made the difference between catching albies and not catching albies today. So we're going to call today a win and head back for the barn. <music>